You try to rob an old lady? Bow! You're getting a tongue to the eye. Kyle Wolodiga, you've done it again. Genghis Frog Super 7. This is the current packaging. No brown shipper box. We're done with that. They still protect it with a nice bag. This wave, wave 8, seems to still have the slip covers. So you can see the beautiful medallion there. But I do believe this is going away. So if you love it, enjoy it now. The Super 7 display, one of my favorite displays with the packaging. Honestly, the window box, the brick. You can see Genghis. There's so much to love with Genghis here. I just... Ooh, the cutout with the graffiti. You have his bio on the back. This is the tubular surfing dude, Genghis Frog. Once a humble native tadpole. Man, I love it. Makes total sense that they pare down the packaging just to do this on retail. You see this on the shelf? I'm going for that. We hear Super 7. One nice thing, they don't use a lot of ties. This guy did have one tie across the middle. Usually they do like a twisty tie thing. This was an actual tie I did have to clip. There is the second tray there with his, like, boogie board. Let's get him out, though. This guy, I'll, I'll tell you this. He is in there. Really good. I hope you like the ASMR. What a figure. He's spectacular, folks. Spectacular. The detail on this guy, the the skin, I mean, it's like there's like a black wash there. So you can see all the bumps, all the grooves. He looks like wet, like he's a wet lizard boy, which makes sense. Um, that's what that sort of frogs are. The shirt, you can see there's like it's like the fabric molding. You can even see like the stitching there. I love that. You got the gold, the gold bracelet going on. The other wrist, he's got like a watch going on. As a watch haver myself, you love to see it. The shorts, there is kind of a little like cuff action going on the shorts, but I, I like that because it's kind of kind of got like the bikini one piece and then the shorts, but the ankle bracelet so yeah this guy i love i love this figure he looks stellar so let's get into the articulation pretty good range on the arms actually he goes up a healthy amount it's of course just you know standard ball joint it's going all the way around pete Townsend 360 the elbows are single jointed so there's the, the swivel in there good movement you're still you're getting like 90 and then the the wrist action he can get lots of good wrist action on him okay okay the splits he's doing the splits just fine he's got again single jointed knees but pretty good range like so and again there's a swivel the kneecap he's got a nice like froggy kneecap and then the feet up, down, the rocker. He's got these big old web feet. I, I enjoy those quite a bit. And then kick back. Uh, kick back pretty good. He's got, this is like there's, it's not stiff, it's rubbery, so you can get that movement there. Kick forward. So yeah, Genghis Frog. The belt um, I was kind of hoping you'd be able to take the grenades out, but that's molded in there, which actually, you know, I don't mind, actually, because once you take the grenades out, what are you, you going to do with six grenades? Look how he's kitted out, though, the belt. I like it. Ooh, one nice thing, he's got the chain, and this chain actually is, like, if you pop the head off, it's an actual cool dangly chain that's always nice so speaking of the head this ball joint i really like this this is a big beefy ball joint i'm not scared of that it's not too spindly it's a medium one the rest of the heads look at this freaking head i think i chipped like some of the tongue paint that's fine that's okay 
Um, man. Again, so it, it's all, again, there's kind of like, it's like a nice wash going on. Look how wild this head is. Lots of good depth to the mouth and that, that tongue. Those like, not quite full moon eyes. And so, see, you can, you can get that. Let's get the head on, just the, the ball joint there. Yeah, so this one. It's a little tight, y'all. Um, so not not a super satisfying pop I can get on that one. I do find that sometimes. Um, but my lord, look at him. This you don't want to run into this guy on the beach. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um, he might be friendly, but you see this face on the beach, you're like, I'm not, I'm not messing with him. I don't, I'm done here. Wowie zowie. <laughs> Here's his gun. It's, it's bad enough, his, that tongue, and then you have this guy, like, 3D effect. Are you kidding me? This is his, I, I don't know what to call it, but you know, the tongue gun. You're, you're on the streets. You try to rob an old lady? Bow! You're getting a tongue to the eye, folks. This is so cool. Painted out. Really nice. Even some, like, texture on the tongue. It's nice and thick. Like the plunger there. Super cool. I love what they did with this. Incredible. Incredible. It's got some glasses. These are nice, thick glasses. I like how they did just... They put, like, the black in there so you can just go for it. Come on, come on, that, mm, he's red, mm, he's the coolest dude on the beach, he's not playing around, and then there it is, on the regular head, they don't, they don't like secure on, but they made them wide enough, where it slips on nicely, so they don't, they don't just like fall right off, so, this is probably, in the world of glasses on toy heads, this is one of the best, I've had little problems with this, Go on easy. They stay on enough. You don't have to like wedge them on there. You just kind of put them on there and do your thing. The boogie board. I believe this is a boogie board. Look at the design there. So it like echoes the design on the shirt. Yeah, we know how you feel, buddy. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. And it's like raised too. So there's some 3D-ness to it. This, the little bungee cord... Um, not anything to write home about, but you know, and this, this string is like too thin. I actually snapped mine on accident. And so I had to like retie it, which is fine. You could get like a new bungee string, but you know, a little beefier would have been nice. So there he is with that. I like, there's a. I don't know the word for it, but there's like a string beaniness, like those string bean fingers. I like that. I like I like that a lot. Very very expressive on his hands. So you could. Well, anyways, that's what I'm going for. It, it's a it's a it's a good sized boogie board. He's got two fists for punishing evildoers, and again, that good wash, the sliminess, what you're looking for in a frog. He's got two proper gripper hands like so so if you want to you want to hold the things so that's all he comes with for the accessories but really i don't know i don't think you need any more he's he's kind of the full deal the real deal the full package just like so let's get him spinning let me show you first the wrist peg it's a nice pretty solid wrist peg not hard you love to see it works good Did that everyone see that everyone get the reference with the arm up i wanted to compare him so there's big genghis and this is this is little genghis little gangi you can see just quite the transformation obviously you know, here's the here's the head they're going for with this guy. This this guy doesn't have the cool tongue head, but otherwise, this is this is the reissue figure from Playmates. So you can kind of see 
just all the details they took there, magnified them, blew them up, just made it even better recreating this figure. That's the magic of Super 7. You give them a figure with detail and they're going to they're going to run with it. They're going to go wild. I can't get this guy to stand, but there they are together. I think that looks phenomenal. It, it just goes to show you the way the line scales up too is fantastic. Love it. This here would be my favorite look. You know, he's <laughs> that 3D effect. So you're going again from this guy to this guy. Stellar. The huge boogie board. The tongue, that 3D action. Wacky, tabacky tongue. So big, it's like catching... <laughs> it's catching on the walls of this display. I have to angle it just right so it doesn't catch um <laughs> he's he's huge he's a huge figure switch back to the standard head this one i can show you that's a that's a nice easy satisfying pop regular vanilla gangus as we can say his natural pairing is of course going to be surfer mikey you know they're they're both hitting the beach like so. And here's where you can see what I'm talking about. So here's like, here's Genghis's boogie board band. And Mikey just has like a much nicer string, much thicker. And then they did like more of like a chonkier detailed thing. So it would have been cool to get more Mikey's surfboard, by the way. Mm -hmm. But you can see there's those two, those two together rotating. He's a big, he's a big figure. The weight, the heft, the tallness, fantastic. He just scales so well. That's one thing this Super 7 line has done incredibly is the scale. So if there's a big tall guy, they blow him up to 7 inches and he's still a big tall guy, even taller than the other 7 inches. Space Raff? Come on, fantastic, fantastic here with Space Raff. This wave, wave 8, so freaking good. I love this wave. Stellar. If I had to rate this figure, honestly, this is a 10 out of 10. This is one of my favorite figures of the year. They nailed it. Genghis the Frog. Fantastic. Chef's Kiss. Kyle Wolodiga. You mad genius. You've done it again. It is just a really fantastic figure. So fun to pose and look at. I think people are going to have a lot of fun with this one. So expressive. Just so funky fun. The boogie board, the shirt, the glasses. What's not to love with this guy? The tongue gun is so outrageous it's hard to get it in the frame even. He don't care. He's just a party punk frog living his best life, hitting the bodybuilder circuit. That fabric detail on the shirt. Fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. But life's not all rosy. Sometimes, you know, maybe you lose the surf competition. 